What's up everyone? It's the detective back again with another video and you guys have spoken You guys want to see the diamond dragonoid starter pack to go up first. This is actually from wave 8 Which is pretty awesome really new. I know a few people in Cali have started finding them I got this on eBay not gonna say the price I got it at but I was able to get it at a pretty fair price considering that these are very new and only a few people have actually found these in stores but this is really, really awesome because as you can see here, there's an Oralist Diamond. You guys probably know what that is, but nonetheless, we'll take a look at it in just a bit. Flipping it over to the back side, you can see, obviously, Diamond Drago himself. And I did actually get the Diamond Hyper Dragonoid from Spin Master, which was absolutely amazing. Really generous of them. I might do a comparison video, but I think I'll definitely post some comparison pictures on Instagram. That'll be awesome. I'm actually mainly excited for these two, the two cores in the set. If I'm being totally honest, i um, excited for these more than the actual Diamond Dragonite Ultra. But yeah, nonetheless, everyone, let's open this up and take a look at what we get inside. So here are the three Bakugan and all folded up in their ball forms. They do look amazing. Obviously, you do get your cards, you get your checklist, and your six Baku cores. So let's jump right in. And bam, Diamond Dragonite Ultra. This is what many people have been waiting for. And it doesn't disappoint just from the ball form. Again, you have that really nice metallic paint and plastic, and it looks really, really great on the diamond plastic as well. I love that red. It's just such a nice color. It's almost a pinkish color in person. It looks a little different in camera, but I just really love the way that that looks. And even this piece right here, I believe it's a little bit of a, a lighter shade of red than on the official Dragon Art Ultra, which I think is pretty interesting. And here he is. And before I actually get into the actual toy design and the way that it looks, I will just mention that I did do a bunch of test rolls, and he actually grabs Baku cores surprisingly really well. And it might just be mine, Maybe I either ended up one with one that doesn't have the most powerful spring, or maybe he has a really strong magnet, but at least on mine, he picks up cores really, really easily. And that's amazing, because my standard Pyrus Dragon on Ultra rarely, if ever, will hold onto a core after opening on one. So this is actually really, really neat to see. So I'm definitely excited for it. However, if you get one, it might not be the same as mine. Maybe I just got lucky. But anyway, just taking a look at the design, I think he looks really, really great. And Dragonite Ultra is not my favorite design. I am a bigger fan of Hyper, just in terms of the standard, just in terms of the, the, the mold and the design. However, I just can't, I just can't stop admiring this because it just looks so amazing. One thing though, is that I feel like there should be more orange. The only parts of orange are the horn and the feet. Everything else basically is pretty much just this shiny red. That's it for basically the paint job, and then there's this, which is the red plastic, and then the rest is just, you know, there's the arms and the head too, but there really isn't much orange. You do have the green on the chest, but I feel like maybe either the arms or the tail should have been made out of orange plastic. That's just my opinion, but what do you think about this Bakugan? I still think that he looks amazing. Let's move on to the next one. So this is one that I've actually been really looking forward to, Clockdoor Core. And my gosh, it looks fantastic already. You guys already know I'm a huge fan of Darkus, um, just in terms of the color scheme and especially the diamonds. My favorite diamonds are Aquos, but Darkus is definitely a close second. And I've been really looking forward to Clothor because I really fell in love with the Aquos one that I got in the Goreen and Dragon on Ultra Battle Pack. So here he is in the diamond, and obviously he is Darkus. I absolutely love that kind of speckled black look. Kind of almost looks like granite. And you do have uh, the little shiny green and the purple stripe in the front. And wow, it just looks phenomenal. I love the ball form on Clopter Core. I actually think that I like Clopter Core more than the Ultra version. So yeah, let's roll them out onto the Baku Core. And yeah, as you just saw, this little guy is really, really good for curve shots. I absolutely love that about him. But anyway, taking a look at the design, obviously you have the huge eye in the front. These little wings all around because he is supposed to be basically a huge eye with bat wings. These pieces, not exactly sure what they do. They just kind of stick out and look cool. But man, that eye looks really nice. I just love how that looks, especially with all the shiny paint around it. 
and on the back you have the little tail. It's really, really neat. And I know that a few people aren't the biggest fan of this design, but I actually love the Clapton Core design. Definitely within my top three Bakugan cores. And here he is. This is the first Auralis Diamond that we are getting. And it's Trino. Which, if you know, his Diamond Evo is amazing. And you're guaranteed to get it in the pack. We'll take a look at it later. But his Diamond Evo is probably one of the best Diamond Evos, if not the best, Diamond Evo to be created. And even within the recent Evos from Age of Auralis, it's definitely one of the best. But time to look at the ball form. And... He looks fantastic. Trino's ball form has always been really cool. You got the silver towards the bottom, and then this entire sort of Triceratops head crest is all gold. And that just looks phenomenal. I absolutely love the way that that's done. Some people aren't the biggest fan of it, but especially folded open, I think that that looks really, really neat. And wow, that gold on the clear plastic, wow, it really stands out. So I'm really excited for this Bakugan, just in terms of his appearance. He just looks awesome. Wow, it just got better. I don't know why, but I absolutely love the clear head because the clear head, the only paint on it is just the horn and the eyes. And when you juxtapose that with the totally painted gold crest, it looks really, really nice. And I'm not gonna lie, I think that this might be one of my favorite diamonds. This Bakugan as a design isn't my favorite design. It's probably not even the top 10 favorite Battle Planet designs, just Trino in general. However, the way that they did the diamond form just looks so good. Like, I couldn't have, it, have imagined it any other way. I just can't stop gushing over it. Again, the main thing that I love is the clear head right next to the totally gold painted crest. So yeah, there's Diamond Trino. The color scheme is amazing too, because you have that shiny gold with the shiny silver and then the clear. If Pyravian Ultra gets a diamond, oh man, that is going to be a killer looking diamond for him. But anyway, we've looked at the Bakugan, let's start looking at the cards. Alright, so here's Diamond Dragon and Ultra, and this is actually a bit confusing, because you get the Hyper Evo and not the Diamond Evo. Dragon and Ultra, Magic Shield and a Red Fist, 505, and the Hyper Evo, you have 2 energy to play, and it's 808. Optor Core, this is a new one. First time that we're going to be taking a look at him because I don't believe that he's actually been released in Darkest yet. Anyway, so Klopdor uses a fist and a shield. 602, I love that art. It's really simplistic, but it looks awesome. Underdog, when this opens, if it has a lower B power than the opposing Bakugan, you may play Hyper Klopdor for free. But the Diamond Evo is actually 4 energy for 707, so... That's pretty interesting, and I also really love that diamond art. If you know me on Discord, this is actually my profile picture. I just love the art of Klopdor so much. Such a really sim simple design, but he just looks really great. Diamond Trino. I'm just gonna skip over this. Um, you can just pause the video and read it. This is the main focus right here. This card is amazing. By far the best Auralis for shields. Not only is it the best diamond Evo, but it's probably one of the best Evos for an Auralis Bakugan release to date. Now, you may want to argue with me, but I think that this is just such an amazing Evo card. For one energy, 406. Already, those are pretty good stats, because you can play this first turn. But on a shield, you get plus 800. So you could go first turn into Diamond Trino and have 12,000 plus whichever bonus you have on the shield, which I think is just awesome. And if you get this pack, you should definitely try to find a way to use this guy because he's just really, really good in the competitive TCG game. Here are the cores that you get in the set. One magic shield, three shields, one fist, and one flaming fist. And here they are flipped over so you can read their effects. All right, so what do you think of this set? I think it's a really, really great set. Honestly, for me, the main draw is just try now. Everything about him is amazing. The diamond evo is amazing. And like I was gushing over him before, I think that this diamond form is by far one of the best and well-executed diamonds that we've seen. Just in terms of the way the paint was applied, I think it makes the clear parts and the painted gold parts contrast beautifully. And this is honestly just one of my favorite diamonds immediately. It just looks so good. 
and these other two are really great as well because this is one of my favorite designs and like I mentioned this guy actually grabs his cores really really well and again it might just be mine but maybe I just got really lucky and he actually holds on to his cores he doesn't throw them out um, he doesn't throw them or heat them or anything but anyway guys there's my review on the Diamond Dragonite Ultra starter set I really hope that you guys have good luck hunting and find it I bought it on eBay. Maybe you can find a good deal on eBay like I did. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm The Detective, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.